All right, welcome back. What's going on, everybody? I pray that everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day as we give the Most High Yah all the honor, the glory, and definitely all the praise and worship. I guess this will be like a um, part two. Um, not too long ago, I believe we did a live chat about spiritual discernment. And um, the Most High have laid this heaven in my spirit um, because... There are so many people that claim to be followers, but at the same time, when you look at them long enough or you listen at them long enough, you should ask the question on where is your spiritual discernment? Because spiritual discernment takes you a long way. Spiritual discernment have you looking at really what others can't see if they don't have the Holy Spirit. And it's a gift. The spirit, the spiritual discernment. Let, let, let me just break this down. I get so sick of Christians talking about, oh, don't judge me. The Bible say, don't judge. When you look at spiritual discernment, let's rightly divide the word of the Most High. When you when you look at spiritual discernment, you see a righteous judgment, and we serve a just Most High, Yah. But that spiritual discernment will have you discerning that preacher and what he's preaching. That spiritual discernment, that old boy that say he loves you ladies and he want to marry you and be your husband, that discernment is going to have you discern that man to see if that man lines up exactly as the Bible say that man supposed to be. Supposed to be, excuse me. Fellas, that spiritual discernment would have you discerning that woman. Am I talking about a worldly judgment? Oh, look at what she got on. She must be this. She might be that. He may be this. He, I'm, I'm not talking about this worldly judging. I'm talking about this spiritual discernment. The Bible used the term rebuke, reproof, correct, teach. If you don't use spiritual discernment in this life, how you going to make it? That spiritual discernment will have you seeing how that co-worker is a hundred miles away. That spiritual discernment will let you know that that dude over there, he ain't right. Now, religious people, they put a twist on spiritual discernment. Let me tell you why. Because a lot of them say they are, well, I'm, I'm discerning you, but they really not. And I ain't talking about all. But what they are really doing is worldly judging you. It's the reason why Paul said, who are we to worry about the ones on the outside of the church? I'm talking about y'all. Paul was discerning the ones in the building. Come on, teach Holy Spirit. I feel my help coming on. I don't need an organ player to bag me up. I feel that the Most High is, is, is spreading this message through me to tell somebody. I don't know who it is, and I'm not going to try to figure out who it is. But you need to hear this. Because without this spiritual discernment, this judgment, this righteously judging, you're going to make a lot of bad calls in your life. Some of us, we done already made too many bad calls in our life without using spiritual discernment. Well, JT, that, that, that's a man of God. He bishop this. He, I don't care how big his church is and how long his title is. If he wrong, he wrong. You better spiritually discern that man. People tell me all the time, should I, should I, uh, man, question, you know, what he taught? Yes, you should. That's part of your discernment. Because if you got a fool in the pulpit leading you on and you just amen and everything they talking about, there's something wrong with that. Spiritual discernment make your life so much better. You're going to go through a lot. You're going through a lot. You either I'm going to say this like I say in my old videos. You're either in a storm or you're out of a storm or you're just getting ready to go into a storm. But in this life, I call it my, 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 what you call it, my radar detector. You know, just like when all these, these, these so-called prophets used to come up 
in my life telling me what they saw. Not it ain't even come from the most high. My spirit my spiritual radar kicks in. Up oh, there go that discernment. Brother be gone. Your spiritual discernment will have you discern every last one of your family members when they're already talking bad about you anyway. So it's a blessing. It's a beautiful thing when you have this, 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 the spiritual discernment. Like I say, it's righteously judging. It's, it's, it's the way that the Most High told us to be. When people be talking about, oh, don't do that judge, the Bible say don't judge. And if you keep reading, the next scriptures. You know what it tell you to do? Clean out your eye. Take the speck out of your eye. Then you can look into your neighbor's eye. See, I ain't got no business trying to correct somebody else if I ain't correct myself. Can I get a witness? Teach Holy Spirit. Old folk, you can say, stop trying to sweep around my front porch if you ain't sweeped around your own. Stop trying to look at my back door window when you ain't cleaned out yours yet. So in other words, get yourself right under the Holy Spirit. Then you can be able to teach and correct somebody else. As parents, all the time, we have to correct our children when they do wrong. They might not like the rules, as a brother was preaching about this morning. They might not like the rules you set down, but it is what it is. He was making a good point about when your child is five or six, Minister Buckley say when you when you big shout out to Minister Buckley. He say when your child is is in five or six years old, you can tell them what to do. But as they get older, when they start hitting teenage mode and up and up, then he say when they become an adult, all you can do is just say, "Father, I stretch my hand to thee." That's all you can do is pray for them and give them over to the Most High. But even with that, you using your spiritual discernment. So if you didn't get nothing else out of this video, catch this right here. If you're going to make any decisions in this life and be on the right path, you better use that discernment that the Most High told you to use. If not, you're going to continue to be on the wrong path. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I want to give a shout out to my sister. Um, I hope I say your name right, Tanisia. Tanisha, um, appreciate you coming on out. Big shout out from you uh, to you all the way from LA and, and, and coming in fellowship with us today. We appreciate you, sister, and love you. And I just pray that more and more people um, around this world, um, with, 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 with the ones that's lost, let me say this right. I pray that the ones that's lost more and more will come into, you know, knowing the Holy Spirit because time is winding down, the clock is ticking. Which side are you going to choose? You see, I threw up two. You got the most high or you got the devil. You make that decision, you know. And I pray that everybody make, well, I ain't going to say everybody because everybody ain't going to make the right decision. Some have already chose to follow the devil. But with that being said, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. And y'all take care. Shalom.